I will continue harvesting the leaves because I need to take out more of this. Mm. So this is the way you harvest the leaves without using a knife. So just go, use your finger and use your finger to slit on the opposite side and you have opposite side. So easy as that. Actually the video a while ago was stopped accidentally so I'll just continue this. So same thing, we have to look on the other side, so we're gonna just slit the leaves and we have to crack it and pull it on the opposite side. And I think I need to get more. I think I need to get more. Uh, for this time, i just going to leave like that. Then I have to cut it. My plan is I need to cut it here. I think this area. So that... I can give the upper part of the plant to it will renew again and have new roots and the lower part I have to put a cinnamon powder on the cut area later on so that um, the bottom part of the plant will produce more babies I will show that to you with my other video how to do it. So for this time I'm done taking out the leaves that I wanted to to harvest. So I uh, already harvested all those leaves and I have a lot in here. This one, this plant is so used. This is the, actually this is the bark of the aloe vera that the professional farmer is using. Uh, this is the aloe vera barbadensis meller, the Stockton species. So I have a lot. I think I have one, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven youths and mature mature leaves of the aloe and um, i think i can produce more than a ga a gallon of aloe gel out of those matured leaves and I still have the the mother plant and I let it produce more babies and the upper part where will renew a new roots and this aloe vera will be will give more bigger leaves because when you plant them in a new uh, soil especially the one that I'm using the, mm, the potting mix the what is that oh, miracle grow I usually using the miracle grow the yellow soil here in u.s and for six months you don't need a fertilizer 
And I usually don't put fertilizer on my aloe. They just get the nutrients from either the the soil, the regular soil, or the soil from the store. They they will grow really really good. They're not, and their aloe veras will survive by itself. It you don't need to like taking care of them all the time as long as they already rooted and it's mm, it's already the roots were established then you just water them then it will flourish so that's all I have for you for today and one more time i have to let you look to do my good harvest that's the one and bye bye for right now mm, feel free to share it to your family and friends and <clears throat> Feel free also to subscribe if you never subscribe yet because you can. Uh, I will make more videos, informational videos that will teach you how to be more healthier. Because health is our number one wealth, so we need to take care of it. Bye bye, aloha.